Hi right, folks. Last video I done was a short one talking about the question of Senate or Sun. Well, count this as a part two of that, I suppose. Yeah. Well, because yeah, from the point of view of Senate, okay. But it can be either is a sinner will focus on their sin because a sinner has to repent of every sin. Because they think basically is that if, if they don't repent of every sin, then that one sin basically could be they could be sent to hell because of it. Okay, yeah. Well, look, basically, from an initial understanding when you first come into church, you are a sinner. You count yourself as a sinner. You are labelled as a sinner by those in church. And one of your understandings is you have to repent of your sin. But therefore, from not understanding sin, you start to learn to understand sin. But therefore... Yeah, you have to therefore focus on your sin. Now, when you focus on your sin, that will encourage you to sin. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, okay. As a son, you won't focus on sin for a number of reasons. One of those reasons would be is because you understand what, what repentance is about. Repentance is not in any way, shape or form about your sins being forgiven. Because if Yeshua came down you know, all those years ago and died upon a cross and died as the Lamb of God whose blood would cover every sin and therefore the covering of sin paid the price of every sin. It didn't need to happen every time you sinned. Your sin was covered before you sinned. It was already covered. It was already paid for. You didn't have to repent in that way. You didn't have to say, Father, forgive me because you were already forgiven. As a son, you understand that. As a son, you know that you're already forgiven. And therefore, if you're already forgiven, you just need to do the second part of that. Repenting. Because what is repenting about is about turning your back on a sin. As I said previously, the problem with a lot of people that teach that, they don't teach you what you're turning to, which is God. So a son simply has to turn back to God. You sin, you just turn back to God, get on with it. So therefore you're not focusing on sin. You're not even looking out for sin. You're not worried about sinning. Because you know if you sin, your sin is already covered. Now that doesn't mean you can continue sinning, you know, here, there and everywhere. And that, you know, it's not going to have any impact because, of course, it would. But that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't do that. That's the important point about identity. Is that when you understand who you are, you understand you're not a sinner, but therefore you stop focusing on your sin because everyone knows when you focus on sin, you're focusing on the thing that you struggle with, which means you're more likely to do that. You're not more likely not to if you keep focusing on it. Now, someone who is struggling with obesity but keeps looking at the fridge and thinking about the cake that's in the fridge or you know, that bit of chocolate that's there or that pa packet of crisps or whatever it is. Or an alcoholic thinking about that can of beer and looking at that can of beer. Well, if you, if you keep focusing on that thing you're more likely to give in to it, aren't you? 
you know, that's a human nature. You know, we need to take our eyes off of something if we don't want to give in to it. So therefore, yeah, a sinner is more likely to sin, whereas a son is more likely to not sin. That not focusing on your sin, not beating yourself up about it, because again, a lot of people that overeat, overeat during times when they are stressed and beating yourself up about something will stress you out. Can do, yeah. But what's the point of you beating yourself up about it if the Lord has already been beaten for you? That's the point. He was already beaten for you. Yeah, your shame, your guilt has already been done. He took it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully doing these videos and talking about these things, hopefully it's going to click with people and they're going to understand that and understand that oh yeah okay good point <laughs> yeah and then hopefully they can start to live according to that which is better for them so yeah hopefully you know something i've said in this one or the last one or the one a few days ago will be helpful to people and yeah yeah if one didn't help, then maybe the next one did, or maybe this one will. So, yeah. Yeah. You take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend, and have a fantastic next week. That's it. Be a blessing. Be blessed. And enjoy. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.